almost any way because I can remember what those things like the cement, the hill, and this and that. Now we've got to probably deal with utilities on a new sidewalk. And yeah, it, gets, it gets messy. It gets complicated. <laughs> yeah. But that, that was the idea, because I, I've seen people come up that trail on the bike and then they go down the street and go, where's the rest of the trail? It's like, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. yeah. It would be great to have a sign there that says yeah. something like yeah. future With the shell silver steam home on it, where's the sidewalk? Yeah. Where's the sidewalk? That would be awesome. You can see the world. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask you to Well, we'll do a little, um, we'll do a little homework and see, so it's, Eight tenths of a mile, which will be four times as expensive yeah, as pretty what we did. Mm -hmm. The only thing it doesn't well, have the there's that tunnel, but there's not like that the first hill, you know, the, uh, you, did you cut, well, the, um, is a cut, cut away in the road. Mm -hmm. You have plants on it, and uh -huh. this yeah. is like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a, Oh, all those azaleas. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, it, it, we would stay in the right of way, and that should not be in the right of way. Hmm. Okay. I mean, we would we would plan on the sidewalk being in the right of way. So. So it looks like there's enough room. Because hmm. the road, I think where you're talking yeah. about the road. Is here and the yes. side goes like this. There's, there's a bunch of examples. Yeah. So we would have to it, go yeah, up. Yeah, it's a big cut. Okay. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so that, that's somebody else can figure that part out. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I have a question. Okay. I have a question. Sure. You know, this is a Trails and Open Space Committee. Um, should we always be on the lookout for anything that might be important to acquire as open space to recommend mm -hmm. to the town council? Sure. You know, um, Probably most of it would be in connection with our trail system. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what seems, uh, you know, just keep our eyes open to see what might work really well for what one, mm -hmm. one, one reason or another. I think we're teetering on the edge. I really do. I mean, I think the Piedmont legacy, I think we're teetering on the edge of becoming, of, of, of having some really significant trails and something yeah, I, I mean so we're just too. teetering yeah. yeah and and we just have to keep pushing and and, we, and vi envisioning too right how yes. they can be used and if there's a, a need for a clover or something I rest and I think any time that you come across something that I was thinking about that today because mm -hmm. there's a there's a, a piece of a, a little piece of property on Highville Road that's just a big rock. I mean, it's a, just a huge rock. It's, big, it's bigger than this room and with a little bit of dirt on top of it. Uh -huh. And I thought, God, that would make a cute little park. Mm -hmm. Oh, neat. Yeah, yeah, yeah that kind of little pocket park. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so that's, that's a good idea. So yeah. just kind of drive around paying attention, mm -hmm. I guess. You do want to keep um, in mind that um, open space um, serves a function for wildlife. You know, your little pocket parks of growing, just letting things grow wild, at least in part of it, yeah. um, that's very important yes, to have is. that. And then have, um, you want to have them, you know, strategically located so that, you know, they, they have, mm -hmm. uh, they're in the Except quarter. I would be okay with a few deer getting over. <laughs> 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 I mean, we have a herd of 15 that travel together. I don't know how many others. Beth comes her electric fence and drag across. Oh, we had a horse oh running gosh. around because oh the deer's at the fence. Yeah. Well, there are frogs and, you know, sound. We like frogs. And, uh, <laughs> insects and... Um, that's a good idea. Are you all, are you all still working on scheduling the, the walk? We're looking at somewhere in the next in February because right. we need to try to already like three out of five weekends are booked. I know, I, I, I'm sort of, we haven't talked like since we sort of canceled, we just thought, we thought about, you know, moving forward, but I think like you say, before the greenery starts popping up, otherwise it's going to the weeds, literally. Yeah. 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 But we'll, we'll try and just pick one. And just, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, just, if you two are the only two that can go, go. You know, yeah. Just come well, back with, we, we missed and then the next one was, 
40 oh, degrees January of rain. Oh, January is awful. Yeah. 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 So, and just, and, and just take pictures so we can see. Um, and can I ask a question? Like, so, assuming it all comes together, which it will, then the real work begins, right? Like people with chainsaws and axes and whatever going into the woods and creating these trails. Am I right? Or is it something that, like, we have to do as volunteers? Or we map and see. That's how it works. How it's going to work. That's how it works, yeah. Can you guys be aware that this is happening? The mountains to see? Yeah. Well, the, I put, the, since the last meeting, I put the mountains to see's current plan route in green there. Okay. And it's like all along the roads. And, and maybe they're just about to update their data and such. But like, you know, you guys up here where we were talking about going from along That's the not on there. Yes. That's not on their current plan. We were talking about going from the park and this dotted line and then along the Haw River, right? And then mm -hmm. up to the trestle area. Is that yeah. right? Yeah, I'm trying to get my bearings. Up straight. to yeah. Zebo Road, up to the commercial. Road. That would get up yes. to there. Yes, correct. Yeah, but their route is down here. That's uh, so far, but with the guy that talked to us last month, I mean, he was saying this is, they're also possible of getting, you know, the, when you look at these summer fields. Oh, that's right, field. he said that they could volunteer on spurs. Too. Yes. Yes. So we're yes. talking about volunteer yeah, this, capacity. Oh yeah, this would be a more of a spur. Okay. Area, but how Sorry. To, yeah. Because we had we had no way to get to the east side of 220 yet. So this was we one were possibility. Just trying to, we were trying to. Right. Yeah. So that was a possibility mm -hmm. to use that. And, yeah. And it's just it's it's like 500 yards of wires from the. <laughs> The right place where you could park to, to get to, yeah. just to even How see, you, can you get underneath uh, the Is that where that service road is? Yeah. No, well, the service road really stops here. Um, it, it's it's like it's it's a long way. Yeah, it's, it's it's not. I don't think it's much as five hundred yards as it's like it kind of like two falls. Really? Yeah. 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 So well, well again, yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, it's, but it's to place your scope and out with your height. Right? Yes. Okay. To see if there's a to, to, to okay. connect that park over. We're going to start on this side and walk the hard. Are you going to are you going to start at the Como? Uh, yeah, that, that was yeah. Nancy's. Is that Nancy's neighbor? Is that there? Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. And come, that. and come that way. And just take a peek. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'm sure. Okay, this is two twenty, right? This yes. Two twenty. Mm-hmm. And you're you're looking. No, no, this is two twenty. No here. side and access under the Hall River it gives you the opening to the western side mm -hmm. in the north, right? And then the southern cross of 220 you already have established with the tunnel. Mm -hmm. So it gives this side of Summerfield. Yeah. I across the just, just be, like nice be nice just to like yeah. get under there and see. It's very yeah. tough to yeah. 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 sit on the side so of the highway. Would you mind cool. like if you do schedule time, just email me because I might be able to tag along. And if it's possible for me to, I would enjoy it. Sure. Enjoy it. Yeah, if that's a good for you to see that. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, and, well let's say video too. Let's segue into yeah, let me yeah, sure sure just to get people pushed back up. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna that's before great. we go any further, we're gonna work on budget, we're gonna think about budget. Um, we'll talk about it some more next month, okay? Um, like Trudy said, see if you think of anything that we're not thinking about, because that's just my idea. Because there are lots of other things we could we could possibly do. With the, I'm, I'm hearing like maybe materials for that built 
volunteer build section? Right, or not necessarily just this part, but any other part we're going to volunteer to build. I mean, I don't know how far along we want to get. The mountains to see uh, provide you with that, I the think. Material, right? I think, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they have all of that equipment right. to be a part of the mountains to see. So you become a volunteer, and then let's say you get in a group, and they say, this is what we're going to try and accomplish on this trail. Oh, yeah. So you yeah. don't have to lay any gravel or anything. You're just clearing. <laughs> but you provide the the labor for what it. Right. Signage. That's what right. You know that Fat Tire Society and they're like really gung ho about doing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Yeah. What's it called? The Fat, Fat Tire Fat Society. Tire. No yes. yeah. They manage. Well, they the, do a lot of volunteering on Greensboro's trail. They and high points yeah. too. So yeah. yeah. So well, that's that's, a good idea. my question is, I guess, how far are we away from that? I know it's at the end of the tunnel, if you will, but it's something that we ought to think about this year, right? Yeah. When do we start mobilizing volunteers? When do we, you know, have that? Well, and, and Joel, what Joel Deaton, he is the he is the head for this district for the Mounts to see for trail building. And so and he's years and years of experience doing it, right? Oh yeah, he's been doing it for, for several, several years. And so, and and Trudy, you and uh, um, Alice worked on uh, oh, but, yes, worked over there, Plainfield Road. Yeah, see mm -hmm. the mountains to see. For two years. I wonder if this Founders Day, I mean, that gives us like a window of let's say five months. Could we also have some? Sort of impetus there to be like, all right, here, do you want to volunteer? Because we're going to get in the woods. It's like a, it's a boots on the ground type thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And sign some people up and say, you know, it could be next month. Or, you know, at least get people interested in, hey, I, I want to get out in the backyard and do, do the real hard work that's going to take to build some of these things. Well, you know, what we have to determine <coughs> is we have to determine what the, what the stumbling blocks are, who, who this property belongs to. Right, that's still an issue. It, that's still an issue. I mean, if it's state property, that's one thing. If it's, if it's private property, it's you know, up, yeah. and, and we've got about a mile of it that, right. that's from right back here to Dubot Road right. that is already uh, deeded. Um, Anywhere we have we have a mile, right. and it's not deeded, but it's uh, set aside. Right, the easement. Or... Yeah, an easement. Thank you. Oh, dedicated. Dedicated. That's the word. I can come up with D. I can come up with Z. D or one. Um, and so that the the next thing we need to do after you all look at it is to come back and sit down and 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 look on the GIS and figure out exactly where it needs to go. Right. That sort of thing. I guess I guess my point was that even if we don't have you know, if you get people to volunteer, hey, at some day you may get a phone call, it may not be, you know, again, it may not be next month, but it may be it's coming. You know? I think that could be a, a really good educational um, just to, to see to see what kind of response you can make yeah. and maybe collect. From my experience, when it comes to mechanical stuff or like doing stuff outside or anything physical like that, like we we get so much like the response is like we have to really high yeah. for yeah. that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. When it comes to stuff like y'all were talking about earlier, like coordinating things and like running, a, you know, managing an event, it's like completely off. So everybody runs, but like, <laughs> but yeah, I don't think you're gonna. I've noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not taking it personally. Uh, much. Uh, <laughs> well, we have any suggestions, James. <laughs> um, I didn't hear anybody volunteer. Um, that's the Fat Tire Society. It's a good idea. Let's segue if we're if we're unless somebody has something else about budget. Let's segue to the map and. Um, Stephanie Jane, and uh, we can probably talk about all of that looking at the map, which might make more sense. Are you agreeable with that, Stephanie Jane? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, and since the last time we met, I, and I mentioned that I discovered the Mountains to Sea route was not on the data that was already in this map, so I marked it with the green highlighter. And labeled it MST, oh, good. Mountains to Sea Trail. 
and um, it runs, it's a little hard to see when it gets to the parks, but it runs down Brookbank Road, and then it comes up, we had data for part of it, and that was here, um, that's uh, all way where Brookbank Road um, comes out to Scalesville Road, but then it here, at, I guess this intersection, it turns south, <coughs> I think you're it's Oak Ridge Road. I think you're, it's Oak Ridge Road here on Okay, road. okay. Yeah. Well, same thing. Oh, because yeah. it changed yeah. over yeah. right here. Oh, okay. Oh. She's <laughs> reading upside down. You're doing very well. <laughs> 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 um, and I'm not as familiar with the place yeah. on the ground. Brookbank stops here. That's Oak Ridge Road. Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So, Brookbank to Oak Ridge. And then south, oh, is that Summerfield Road? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, Summerfield Road, and it includes the sidewalk that you want yeah. to build in this yeah, year's budget. And then uh, it, it, for some reason, is still skipping mm -hmm. over the road down here instead of where mm -hmm. the existing connection well, the is. Tunnel wasn't in yet. Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, maybe we can mention that to them, because I think the Mountains of Sea Trail Group is having their annual meeting soon. Mm -hmm. I was told they, they just updated it recently. Oh, Have you looked recently? Uh oh. Well, yeah, I, I downloaded these, but it's. So maybe they didn't. Maybe. It's April 4th, 2018. Oh. Um, um, but so they just updated our sidewalk. They just put it our is. site, yeah, okay. they just put so our So they site haven't put that on the website yet. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. And see, because I had gotten an email from Betsy Brown, who kind of coordinates their meeting, that they're getting ready to have their annual meeting. So I had the impression that it was about to get updated. Maybe oh, it'll get updated more. Okay. Um, okay. But I'll check with them. And okay. Like, I started to send an email to... Um, Jim Brody, I think it is, that uh, does the mapping files in Asheville, but then since I saw the dates and I saw the meeting was coming up, I said, oh, I bet this is the most recent <coughs> ones. And I, I think Joel told us at the last meeting, I thought Joel told us. He that. did talk about updates, but I don't recall. Yeah, I said. thought he told us that our sidewalk was yeah. now well, um, where it should be. Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. So I don't know. Cool. I, okay. So I'll check on that um, because I may not have the latest thing. And it also goes over here, and I'm thinking maybe it would want to go down the A and I from starting from here instead of here. You know, it kind of takes still follows the road mm -hmm. in the yeah. That's a great thing. Is it's a bridge? You have to you know we have to build something down the embankment. Where are, where are that's the drive bridge right there? Okay. Well, that's the drive bridge. The road goes over private property no, where the, the road ends? No, no, the, the trail goes under a bridge. This road right here is a... Oh. This is an old railroad the crossing, travel under the yeah. oh, Maybe so, that's why they don't yeah. have it. Well, we, we are trying to figure out how... To, it, it Once we get that end of the A&Y mm -hmm. uh, down to the Hall River, then we can take a left and we'll be, the mountains to sea will be off the road completely if we can get to Eversville. That's what they're aiming for, right? Yeah. So, so they, well, they would take their so, route up this way and, instead of this yeah. way. Yeah, so they must have put something on paper oh, for us, right? They committed, right? They, yeah, they did, as soon as over it said, hey, we'll take what Stokes Hill doesn't want. Okay. So, boom, they put so something. probably it's going to end up being like this and this. Yeah, and then yeah. Well, yeah. where the Everskill part goes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, cool. And... Uh, I wanted to, I was really glad you brought up what you did, Trudy, because um, late, I'm thinking, you know, as we're thinking about budgeting dollars for your budget this mm -hmm. year, maybe we'll also the budget some time to make a really strongly open space themed map for the, like, town-wide, mm -hmm. um, because, I mean, it's, it's right to focus on the connections of trails because you're right. I think like trails would be your ideal connection between open spaces. But also, it would be neat to kind of get a look where you're just focusing on like here's the community, here are the parks and open spaces that we have, here mm -hmm. are the ones that we know are going to be coming. 
where are the gaps, what types of open spaces are these, mm -hmm. what types yes. don't we have, mm -hmm. and where, mm -hmm. and yes. how do people get to each of these right. mm -hmm. currently, and that will probably make our trails, ideas, and plans smarter, because mm -hmm. we'll have the companion map that's about open spaces. Yeah, that's good. We can combine the two. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. but right now this one already has so much on it, it's very busy. So then to yeah. add it in the okay. same app at first would be a little bit hard to read. Mm -hmm. um, so if you if you guys wanted, I could try plan to set aside some time to start on that. And I think that you'd be the best contact person to start with to kind of sketch out what we've got. And I've got data too, so mm -hmm. you wouldn't be just having to like tell me where every single thing is. You could just kind of and then we are that too, I think, I think guiding. Yeah. Don't we have all that information that's what is uh, our what's <coughs> open yeah. our open space we yeah. have yeah. Some, the beginning. We have public anyway. art public open space, space that's designated and we so it's kind of you know, it's here but it doesn't tell you a lot about what what, what it is. is and yes. I think you know a lot about that. So okay. maybe I do, but I do my little area. I do, I do have to okay. Do a little bit more. Well, and we need to add the corner of uh, Bunch and Pleasant Ridge as potential open space. Yeah, isn't that nice that mm -hmm. we can do that? You know. <coughs> I mean, it's, it's private, but it's. And Don points out, Don reminds us that we're all, all of this is ties into the UDO and the. Uh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, we need to, but trails and yeah. open space, we've got a, um, we, we have a strong uh, backing for what we're doing. Mm -hmm. so, it sounds like a lot of people in uh, some field are interested yes. in this thing. Mm -hmm. yes. so. And supportive. Mm -hmm. I've heard a lot of support yes. coming from people. Um, and. Uh, so it might be good, maybe even considering input at Founders Day, like an activity of some sort that involves Ooh. input about open because space. Because they would know what's around them. Yeah, what would they well, like, what, what, what's their favorite thing that's here now, mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Because I was um, wanting to ask the committee to think about um, what are your open space goals, you know, and some cities I've heard of have like m metrics, they want like a certain percentage of open yes. space, yes. either per square mile or per capita kind of mm -hmm. thing. But, but well, that's an interesting thought. It well, is. Well, remember, yeah. I mean, but what Summerfield's done though, compared to the other surrounding towns, was seventy-four houses per hundred acres. Even though septic is allowed, hundred houses per hundred acres, they kept it at seventy-four. Absolutely. So that means so every neighborhood in, mm -hmm. in, intentionally had to keep that's almost twenty five percent as open space. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> true, true. That's so that's really cool. but it's all built into you know, every one of But it's it's not it's not contiguous. Mm -hmm. right. Is right. is one of the things and, and what she's talking about is and I've read it, um, big cities, um, mm -hmm. and it's contiguous and it's connected and they have this, you know, city ride plan where this park is going to connect to this park, and you know, yeah. and we don't have. Well, of course, we're working towards it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that that each neighborhood will have 